Hi guys, what's up? It is Brianna Muller Green, e-com entrepreneur, online business developer, with over 20 years in the game, millions of sales online, and I'm the co-owner of designfordollars.com. We were all about helping you to leverage your passions, interests, strengths to build out multiple income streams so that you can set up a side hustle or a full-time income so you can leave your job, pay off some debt, travel more, and live a flexible lifestyle. Um, so all sorts of fun things to talk about today. I'm not using Restream because I cannot handle <laughs> distributing the comments on there. So I'll get back to it at some point. So let me get this shared in a couple of spots and then um, we'll see what's every what everybody's up to. All right. Design for dollars. We got them in the chat now. Let's get our merch money crew in here. We've got them. Because we have a show tonight I wanted to talk about. I've got Merch Wizard tagged in this because we've got some Merch Wizard stuff to talk about. Um, D4D crew, man, we got stuff going on there. Like, fun, exciting things going on all the way up until the end of the year and, and uh, into 2019. So, get you guys all caught up on that. All right. Let me do one more share here and then we will get going. Share my page. All right, cool. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see here. Okay, cool. So I want to um, talk about, geez, a lot of stuff. I have a whole list here of things that we need to chat about. So let me find, uh, let me find my list here. Okay, here we go. All right, um, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, what I did over the weekend. Um, working on my brands. Oh, my gosh. So um, I'm all about brand building right now. Um, number one, because the, uh, the e-com space is, is really, really, I like to use the word really ripe, really ready for people that are just everyday normal people. Um, the marketplace is ready for you, for, for me, for anyone to create a brand based on something maybe that you're interested in or that you have a passion about and we have tools at our disposal that really big brands that we sometimes refer to as macro brands don't necessarily know how to use yet so as e-commerce booms as more and more um, normal people like us become internet savvy and learn all of these different ways of um, selling products and working with print-on-demand facilities and importing stuff and using affiliates. Every single one of us is capable of creating a brand that can sustain our lifestyle. Now, is it um, is it commonplace for everybody to build a brand and make a million dollars on it and sell it and go make another one? No, it's not. It's like the lottery winner thing, right? I mean, you can you can study what people have done in order to launch their brands, but you're never going to be able to replicate it absolutely perfectly because the journey is different for everyone. And when you get to know your um, the niche in which you're most comfortable, it becomes a little more obvious what that journey is going to be. So uh, let's see, Helen and Amy, my girls from Merch Money are here. They are both doing amazing things. Um, and let me talk about that first. Um, we have the Merch Money show tonight, so we're going to do a Q&A with the Merch Money girls. Um, if you haven't ever uh, caught our show, youtube.com slash C slash, slash Merch Money, um, the uh, link is here in the chat. Um, we're reserving tonight for like a Q&A and the cool thing is that 
the four of us are very, very different and we run our businesses very, very differently and we're all in print on demand in different in a different fashion. So some of us are working on brands, some of us are artists, some of us do a lot of outsourcing, some a little, some of us do a crap load of outsourcing. So what's cool is you can glean so much information from some of the things that we talk about because I think that we represent a little bit of everyone because there's no perfect way of doing anything and because you have to figure that out as you go. Amy, Amy, Helen, and I bring very different perspectives because of our different lifestyles, our different life experiences, and our different goals. So it's cool to uh, brainstorm with them, and it's going to be really fun tonight to talk to you guys so you can see what we're all up to. Some of us stay home. Some of us do this full time. Some of us do uh, have multiple income streams. And so um, it should be a really fun time tonight where you guys get to hear not only what we're up to, but you'll also be able to um, ask us some questions. So also let's let's go back to like the whole branding thing. Like why, like what's the big deal? Everybody's talking about branding, build a brand. What's that, what's that even mean? Here's what it means. Um, I was on Merch by Amazon from the beginning. I uh, learned it from uh, Chris Green, as many people did, in the, the big Merch by Amazon group. Well, the, let's be honest, the, the Merch by Amazon marketplace is not the same, okay? Like, it, it isn't. So whether people want to come out, like people meaning like, some people are having great, let, let me back it up. Some people are having amazing success on Merch by Amazon still. Some people are not. Some people have been on the platform a really long time, like I, like I have, back when you could make fourteen, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month um, on Merch by Amazon and royalties. Some people still do that, but not using the same business model and methods that you used years ago. That should not be um, like earth shattering news because when you think about how quickly e-commerce and the opportunities out there change. It's just <clears throat> something that you have to be become used to if you're in the e-com game. So, do I still um, do I still make a a leading income on Merch by Amazon? Hell no, I don't. I don't make anywhere near what I used to make on Merch by Amazon. But does that mean that I uh, that I don't list on there anymore? That I don't leverage it? No, that's silly. It's an amazing platform. But here's what I do. I use that as my home base. I use that as my starting base. So I'm putting designs in there and I'm testing them out, testing them in the markets. And then I'm making business decisions using Merch Wizard, which sidebar, Merch Wizard, we, um, uh, we've got the Merch Wizard crew here, by the way, Phil and Emily and Rick, what's up guys? Um, we have been working closely at D4D with Merch Wizard trying to um, help you guys learn what a powerful tool Merch Wizard is and how many different ways you can use it to run your merch business and pod business beyond that like a business. So the, the, besides the power of organizing things and having everything at your fingertips and the ease of uploading, I mean, there's a million different things that Merch Wizard offers that are amazing. Straight off the top, I love the business analytics because I can go into my Merch by Amazon account and I can see what has been selling, what used to sell, and what's not anymore. I can pull um, my listings by the number of reviews, um, the number of stars in, my, in the feedback or the reviews. And so then what I can do is I can make decisions about where to put those products to increase my buy buttons, like the, the number of places in which my design can be purchased, by taking those Merch by Amazon designs and applying them to other products. Beyond that, what, what doing that enables you to do once you're on Etsy, once you're on Shopify, and I use Shopify a lot because it's e-com friendly. It has a bunch of apps that are really cool for pod. You can build a website wherever you want, but good luck trying to find production partners that integrate with it. So when we talk about Shopify a lot, it's just a web builder, but it's really good for selling products. Um, so what I do is um, I take those best designs, like I said, and I, I put them on Etsy. And I put them on Shopify. And I put them back on Amazon Seller Central. 
Now, here's here are a couple of reasons why. Number one, to make money, obviously, right? Number two, because it protects me. If I'm going to put a design on Merch by Amazon right now, right, and it's going to get copied if it sells well, all of them do. How do I protect myself? I was the first one. It's my original design. Next thing you know, there's 50 of them on the platform. Well, unfortunately, because it's the Wild West and because it's so out of control, how am I supposed to prove necessarily that uh, that maybe maybe I was first on Amazon, but maybe maybe someone else was first somewhere else? They have to assume that. So they can't just assume because you give them your Merch by Amazon link that you were the first to market because you someone else could have been first to market on their own website that they own for all they know is, is my point. So having a Shopify store or having and or having an Etsy store with an actual brand will enable you to show Merch by Amazon a time stamped copyright of the design and Wham, bam, they pull, they pull the, the, copy, the copied uh, designs down with that link. It does not take long at all because you prove your ownership, especially if you're on Shopify. You own that. That's, that's a sellable asset. I looked up a couple of um, Shopify stores, just some small basic ones that aren't even doing a whole lot yet. They, they can sell for a couple thousand dollars just by having your Shopify store up. Uh, and a domain and a couple of products on there. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's a sellable asset and it also protects you. Here's the other thing that's cool. So you have six, uh, six product choices on March by Amazon right now, which will continue to increase, but they're not increasing fast enough for me, right? So let's say I have a really good short sleeved um, t-shirt design and it's selling like crazy on March by Amazon. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put them on every single, um, uh, product option in Merch by Amazon. Okay, so here's my, my my design is on six items. Likely it will get copied. But what I also do is I take that design and I go over to Etsy and I put it on a ton of other products like coffee mugs, uh, zip front hoodies, leggings, Christmas ornaments, flasks, beverage tumblers, I mean, there's hundreds of options. I pick the ones that are complementary to my niche. I put those in Etsy. Now here's the fun part. So you have your design on Merch by Amazon and you have your six product options, right? I take that same design and I apply it to other products to expand upon that six. I can't do it in Merch, there's only six right now. I can do it in regular Amazon using a production partner like Printex. So now when someone wants to copy my design, when I have the t-shirts and the long sleeve shirts and the sweatshirts and the hoodies, I'm going through Amazon Seller Central with the same design because it's my brand and it's on tumblers, it's on chopping boards, it's on aprons, it's on hoodies, it's on hats, it's on everything I can think of that's complimentary. Now good luck ripping off my design because I can prove that it's mine I have it in my Shopify store, I have it on Etsy, and now I have a whole product line with my design on it. So the one person who comes whipping in and copies that design, what are they gonna have? What are the chances that they're gonna be able to replicate my full product line? Not good, right? So, and besides the fact that it's diversifying my income streams. Awesome, so at the end of the month, I get my Merch by Amazon check. Cool, do you know what other checks I get? an Amazon Seller Central kit, uh, check from Print On Demand. I get Etsy payouts daily from Print On Demand. I get Redbubble payouts. I get Zazzle payouts. I get Design by Humans, um, T-Launch. What are some of the other ones? There's a couple other small Spreadshirt, and there's a couple other smaller ones. The point is I don't just stick to Merch by Amazon. I have a workflow. I have a brand I'm building, and I am putting these products and designs that are mine that I own on other products, and I'm doing a full-scale assault on the Internet and marking my territory. These are my designs. This is my niche. And so that leads me to what we're doing at D4D with brandability. Um, let's say, let me back up a minute. Let's say you're like, whoa, Brie, you're getting a little crazy because you know I've got all sorts of tools and apps and things that are hooked up to, to make sure these things are running um, right. 
So what, what would be your first step? Let's say you're new to merch, right? You're on tier 10, tier 25, wah, 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 and your sales suck right now. Or maybe they are okay, but you know, you're just limited to those six product options. You're still stuck at the 25 tier or the 100 tier or whatever. You're not getting the sales that you want. The easiest option is Etsy. And the link you can hit in the chat, Easy Etsy, will walk you through it. Do you need it? So this, this was the debate over the weekend, right? Do you need to outsource? No. Do you need to buy research packs? No. Niche packs? No. Designs? No. They're not for everybody. But listen, if you're going to scale up, you're going to need help. And if you want somebody with experience and skill to help you, then you've got to hire out. I don't do my own plumbing. I don't do my own electrical work. I don't do my own home construction because I don't know how. And I can look it up on the internet. That's fine. If I have more time on my hands and money, that's what I do. That's how I've established my business. But you also get to a point where you're only one person and you're not good at everything. So the point is you outsource the things you suck at or you outsource the things you don't have time to do or you outsource the things that you just don't like. And that is what we do at D4D, and that's what a lot of you guys do in the community. So that's just a little sidebar. Like, it's not a what, run your own race. Do you, do your thing. If you like to do all of your drawing and all of your keywords, rock on with yourself and do it. If you don't, then use a service, use a leader, use a VA, vet them so you know what their experience is, so you know what you're getting, make sure they know what they're doing, make sure they're in the game, and that they've actually had some success at what they're doing. That's it. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to buy stuff if you don't want. There's lots of free content out there. When I had nothing, when I was in credit card debt up to my eyeballs and I had nothing, I was a hustler and I was resourceful, and that's what I did. I taught myself by going out into the internet, into YouTube, and watching videos. Cool, that still works. But guess what? We don't all have the time to do that anymore. So that's why we use things like outsourcing and master classes and design services and niche research lists. You don't like them, don't use them, right? Okay, woo, I got off on a tangent there. So, whoa, oh, so we were talking about Easy Etsy. So if I had to give you um, the easiest way to leverage yourself beyond Merch by Amazon, it would be to go into Etsy and to hook up a production partner, which would be um, our choice production partner at D4D is Printech. And I also use several other production partners, which I'm going to show you guys a couple of really cool ones for Etsy in just a second. I found so many goodies. Some of you um, may have seen me post about these already. But um, the Easy Etsy course we hold your hand and walk you through not even having an Etsy account, not even having a print tech account and setting the whole thing up in just a couple of hours. So if you're someone that wants that help, that one-on-one, -on -one, like just show me what to do. I don't want to watch 50 videos out there and try to figure out which one's right. Cool. We got, we have easy Etsy for you. You can get that right now on the design for dollars website. And in a few hours from now, if you get it right now, by uh, early afternoon, you're going to have a running store. You're going to have an Etsy store hooked up to print tech and product selling. We had several people take the course and products started to sell within a week. All right. Is, is that the success rate for everybody? No, it, it's a reflection of what you put in. If you take the course and do nothing, you're not going to have any sales. If you take the course, you roll up those sleeves and you start working, you're going to see some success. And the reason that we, um, suggest Etsy as the next step is because it's rather simple and because the Etsy platform is exponentially growing. There's tons of shoppers looking for your stuff. And again, the marketplace is ripe. It's ripe for us to get over there and to take advantage of it. Let's say you already took the Etsy course, right? Or you're like all about that brand building. Like you're, you're ready for it, right? Let me talk a little bit about brands. Um, Macro brands or big brands, things like Nike, Adidas, I always name the same things, I guess because I'm into athletic wear and athleisure wear, right? So those are big brands that have been around for a long time, have been, had brick and mortar businesses, they, they have e-com stores now, and they're starting to dabble in all the social media platforms. There's absolutely room for us as regular people, as small business owners and retailers, to compete 
in a lot of spaces right now where we actually know more about selling online than some of these really large companies. We're also in an environment where not everybody is brand loyal. Not everybody needs to be in Nike from head to toe. They might sport a Nike hat, but then they're off looking at um, a niche down website for athleisure wear that has some cool mission behind it or some cool print that you can't get anywhere else. So if you're all gung-ho about the branding thing, let me tell you a little bit about what I've done in the past and what I'm currently doing. So obviously D4D is a brand, right? Duncan, Aaron, Christina, Ryan and I, and the team of like over 50 people now, we are building this brand. I have my Brianna Muller Green brand, right? I'm building that brand. I have brands that I have built with clients that are now functioning brands online that are doing well that you can research through Alexa and see the amount of traffic that they're getting. I'm working with several clients now that are building brands. Some of those brands are around something they love. Some of those brands are around a YouTube show. Some of them are around coaching. Some of them are around a nonprofit organization. Some are around something really simple, like something that's just near and dear to their heart, like a, a certain kind of animal or, um, or advocacy for a group or a hobby or sport. You know, I'm also open about one of the um, private brands that I'm building that capitalizes on the fact that we love to travel in our travel trailer and we love to go four wheeling and snowmobiling. So I have an extreme motorsports brand. Um, so the point is, lots of us are, um, oh, baby, three said Alexa and my echo turned blue. <laughs> I forgot I have mine on too, shoot. I always do that, I, I say A-L-E-X-A and then it responds. That's, that's hysterical. Um, so I have the one brand that, that um, which by the way, well, uh, while all the complaining was going down this weekend, I was in my Shopify store. I was running Facebook ads. I was working on my, um, uh, I did a Etsy store integration onto my Facebook business page for my brand. And on top of that, I have two others, right? I'm building out a figure skating brand which is going to be really easy for me because I grew up in competitive figure skating and I'm building a freaking gaming brand, which I want to do with importing and importing products. So those of you um, that took the gaming webinar with Brendan and I, we talked about all of the different ways in the webinar that you can leverage one particular niche gaming, right? So if you're like, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to, what should I build a brand about? I have no idea, but we pick it for you. Gaming. So if you go, um, if you hit the link for our gaming webinar, we take you through all of the, the research that we've uncovered in gaming, why it's such a hot niche to get into, and instead of putting the time into having to worry about what exactly, what brand you want to focus on, all of us in, in this, this group, we're focusing on gaming, and we're all building a gaming brand. So you can get more information and take the course through hitting the link for the um for the gaming webinar replay. And then at the end, Brendan and I and the crew talk about what exactly we're doing with, um, with the gaming brand. But if you wanna join us, um, hit that webinar and we've got the crew over there. We're um, spitting out some ideas. We're on our crazy rabbit trail of research and looking at products. And I was looking at all sorts of different um, free tools and things that I found this morning. So, um, and then on top of that, if you're ready for your personal brand, like 2019, here you come, right? Like you're ready to do it up. You have a brand in the back of your head. You have an interest, a strength. Maybe there's a standout niche on Merch by Amazon that you're like, yo, I'm killing it in this niche. Like let me build a brand and leverage it. Then what we're doing over at, um, at D4D starting, um, let me see, hold on. I've got uh, it on the calendar. Our launch date for brandability is a Monday, January 7th, all right? So what are we doing with brandability? This is awesome. 
So those of you that work with Brendan and I one-on-one -on -one building a brand, no, it's intensive. It's a lot of work, right? But it's doable. There's a bit of a recipe to it. And once you figure out each of the ingredients and the steps, they change a little bit in the way in which you have to implement them. But once you get the workflow down, once you learn how to build a brand, you're going to be able to replicate it again. So if you're, you don't have the uh, need, let's say, to work on a one-on-one -on -one thing and you want to join us in the Brandability Group, what we're going to do is hold you accountable and hold your hand while you build your brand. We're not launching it till January 7th, but we are offering the early bird discount rate, like we always do, to the early action takers, to the people that are ready to rock it for 2019. We, meaning Duncan, Aaron and I, Christina, Helen, Ryan, the D4D crew, we're going to take you from concept or maybe not even an inkling of an idea yet for your brand, right? You're like, hey, oh, oh, I don't even know. We'll help you. We'll help you pick a niche, right? We're going to take you from picking the niche to picking products to setting up a Shopify store to optimizing it to marketing and driving traffic and getting some freaking success from this thing. So in G it starts January 7th. You can get in early bird right now for $4.97. It is 12 weeks of hand-holding, webinars, butt-kicking, and accountability. And I will be there. Duncan will be there. Aaron will be there. Christina will be there. Helen, Ryan, we're all going to be there to hold your hand throughout. And besides that, some of my brands are in the earlier stages of development. So you're going to get to see some of what I'm doing and what I'm building out. You'll get to see some examples of successful brands that we have worked with. And you're going to be able to watch Christina and Helen as they take their first stab at developing a brand as well. As we all work together in a squad environment as a crew to, to build your brand. So if you're interested in that, we'll keep the early bird rate open for a little bit. We'll give you guys more details as to what, what will be involved. We help you set up your production partner. We help you figure out, like, how do you, how do you build a brand? Like, what does that even mean, right? We'll talk about how to build a community, how to leverage Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. We cover it all and you can get in as in-depth and as crazy as you want or you can keep it as surface as you want um, uh, it, the cool thing about like I said is by the time you get through it you'll want to go back and revamp your brand and then you'll want to like go running off to start another brand um, because like I said it's it's not the same process every single time but there is a flow to it in a way in which you can approach it and then you change little pieces as you go you rinse and repeat and you try it again and some of them take off man though there's gonna be people in the brandability uh, course or program that are gonna kill it we're all gonna be like wait what we had no idea about that niche and and you don't have to share that with anyone in the group but you know that's what we're there for to cheer to cheer each other on right and and to brainstorm and to help one another um, so it should be really exciting uh, we'll keep the early bird rate open for a while. If you do get in uh, now, anytime from now until January, we put you in the group right away. So you're going to get the benefits of all the free content. I'm already dropping in there because I'm already building my brand. Uh, several. And um, so that leads me to a couple of resources here too that I want to talk to you guys about. Okay. So the first one, I'm going to type it on here for you, is called... Storia. So there are several different, um, I, would get, I guess I would call it an app. There are several different apps that you can use on a Facebook business page to create a store. What I did was I used Storia. So on my Facebook business page right now, there's a shopping tab and my entire Etsy store is embedded within Shopia but they don't have to leave to go to Etsy to um, complete the transaction. They can complete it on my Facebook page. So right now I'm running ads to my Facebook page for my brand. And when they get there, they can either shop right there on the brand page 
or they can go to the website, which is my Shopify store. Um, either way, I have the same products on, on either. You can, it, there is a small fee, I think it's like $10 a month or something, but like one sale justifies that. Um, and then obviously as I drive traffic and get more likes and get more conversion on the Facebook business page, it just, it just pays for itself. All right, um, here's another one that I found. Um, this one, I did my usual free move and I subscribed to it, but then like I didn't fully uh, use it, I would say. So I took a look at Zibit on Alexa, on the Alexa website. Oh, I said it again. I'm sorry if you guys have your echo on. Mine is like like listening right now. Anyway, I checked a Zibit and it has a decent amount of foot traffic, organic foot traffic. And what Zibit is, is we can put our designs up on Zibit and really, really easily create a website from their templates and their software and their program. But then they're also a marketplace and it's got a really cool feel vibe to it so um just check it out it might be something that is complimentary complimentary to your niche okay then i found this which is so cool and it's free neatly so neatly does um business or the analytics on how well your um, Facebook page, website, there's a couple of different integrations you can use, but what it does is it tracks like, let me pull mine up. Let me see if I can find it and I'll tell you. Um, let me see, of course I got 5,000 tabs up here and I can't uh, find it right this second. But um, it, it said like what percentage was on mobile phone, what percentage was male or female. Basically what it does is it crunches all the numbers that you're pulling through Google Analytics, through uh, Facebook Ads Manager, and through your Facebook Pixel. It pulls all that data and like spits it out in a really easy to just glance down and look and kind of make some decisions uh, based on how well um, your traffic is converting um, between the different platforms. It's free. Um, then I found this pod, which I am going nuts about right now. And um, it has an Etsy and a Shopify integration. And I love the feel of the, the uh, I guess with the audience that they're targeting. It's kind of uh, runs parallel to the target audience that I'm shooting for in some of my brands, and it's really artsy and fun and colorful and youthful. So check out that one, and I love it because it has an Etsy integration already and a Shopify store integration. Um, obviously, you guys know the one that I use and that many of us at D4D use, which is Printech. Um, Printech has 78 product options right now, and I'm selling all of my products like crazy on Etsy, Shopify, and Amazon Seller Central. You can pick and choose which, um, which uh, integration you use. The benefits of Printech for me have been the seamlessness of the integration, how well they're automated, um, the fact that I can upload a design one time and then press three different buttons and push it to three different marketplaces without having to do a whole lot. And the fact that I can offer customization or like a personalization um, on top of my designs. So for instance, my Amazon Seller Central products, someone can, um, when they're shopping on Amazon Seller Central, they can actually add their name or a date or a message or whatever to the product because it's integrated automatically with Amazon Custom. The customer doesn't know that. We've got it set up really easily on the back end through Printech. And then one other one that I wanted to talk about that I've had my eye on for a while is Printed Mint. Um, they had announced that they were doing an Etsy integration, and um, so um, 
they just launched, I believe, just early November. So I'm going to be playing around with that. Printed Mint has some really, really cool stuff that I think is going to sell well on Etsy and has a, like a feminine feel to it and kind of has that aesthetic that you see on Etsy. And so you can check out Printed Mint um, for their Etsy and Shopify integrations as well. My approach to this is that I use Printex as my home base because it does the most. It does it the cheapest. It does it the easiest. Um, and the ROIs, like the, the amount we pay for the products, I'm making a ton on my margins using Printex. Then what I do is I look at a couple of the other pods for really specialized things that Printex doesn't have yet, but that are super specialized for my niche. And I find them in places like Art of Wear, uh, Printed Mint, and you can pick and choose products from those as well. On your Shopify store and your Etsy store, you don't just have to go with one production partner. You can use a multiple. And that's what I would suggest. You don't need to use every single solitary product option, right? Pick and choose the ones that work well with your designs. All right, cool. I think I have talked enough uh, for today. Yeah, we're good. So let me run down through. Um, oh, yeah, Christina said that she noticed the cosmetic bags on Printed Mint. Yes. So I'm thinking uh, there's a lot of cosmetic bags and, and some cool stuff like um, I like the socks over there, too. Or is that on Guten? That might be on Guten. That's another one. Some of you have already seen me post about Guten, um, but I'm not sure of the logistics yet. It seems like you have to do everything manual right now with, with Guten. Um, but I, I like their their products. If they can do an integration that makes it a little bit easier to list, that's another one I would look at. But right now, Art of Wear, Printec, Printed Mint, of course, Printful. Um, I shouldn't leave Printful out too. And Printful has multiple integrations as well. Um, you can get your leggings there. Um, and there, there are a lot of other pod options, but these are ones that I'm dabbling in because they're new, fresh, They've got good product offerings, they've got good delivery times, um, and they have really good profit margins. And they're US based, um, so the delivery times are quicker. That doesn't mean that I'm opposed to using a non US based one either. I am selling um, pod products in other countries, so that is some more information you can look forward to in the future, and uh, I can show you how to do that. One other thing I do wanna mention is that um, Emily, Rick, Christina, Helen, the D4D team, we've all um, been having a little uh, meeting about doing some things for you guys to help you get started on Merch Wizard. So if you are interested, we are going to be offering a webinar this week where we can hold your hand and get you started. We will have members of the Merch Wizard team there. We will have members of the D4D team team there you guys will be able to obviously screen share show our accounts to you so if you have merch wizard or are thinking about it and you want to go to this webinar we're gonna I'll go live a little bit later to talk about it I will provide the link to you but in the meantime what you can do is I've got the merch wizard link up here on my page um, you can subscribe there um, and then other than that like if you're like woo baby all right I got it but I don't know what to do that's fine we can walk you through the entire process of setting this thing up and then also showing you what the different, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, strategies and uh, business analytics will we'll go through absolutely everything you need to really leverage this tool because what Merch Wizard can do is bananas, guys. It's, it's bananas. It's the answer to like a bunch of different um, extensions and software programs that I was using. So, um, so we'll show you how to use it and how to use it uh, productively, how to keep yourself organized, and how to continue expanding about, uh, upon your pod game using Merch Wizard as like your, your beast of an organization tool, listing tool, and analytics tool. So, all right, um, I've got to get going. I've got a meeting in a few minutes, and um, I will uh, check in with you guys later. If you are catching this on Facebook Live, please like and share. If you are catching this on YouTube, please uh, hit subscribe, like, and share. Join us at um, uh, designfordollars.com if you need anything for Merch by Amazon or print on demand, whether it's 
you know, hand-drawn art, whether it's designs, whether it's training, uh, whether it's consulting, whatever you need, we got you. So hit us up there and hit us up at d4d email at gmail.com if you have any questions or to email me personally, Brianna Muller at gmail.com. Bye guys. Have a good day.